All right, something totally different this week. We have a six-speed manual. This is the GR badging. We have GR badging here. What is it? Well, it is the all new for 2023 Toyota GR Corolla. Yes, a performance Corolla. What? When I told my husband there was such a thing as a performance Toyota Corolla, he didn't believe me. He kind of laughed and thought, yeah, sure, whatever. Anyway, he's been driving it this week as well. And I was waiting. I was waiting for him to tell me his thoughts. I didn't ask him. And we took it out on date night the other night and he was driving and he said, you know, this thing is surprisingly fun to drive. I was like, yes, it surprised me too. It's not like the other Corollas. It is nothing like the other Corollas. This is a 1.6 liter turbo three cylinder. Yes, three cylinder getting 300 horsepower and 273 pound feet of torque. What I think is really cool, aside from the fact that that's really fun to drive, it really, really goes. And of course, manual is always fun to drive. Uh, but one thing that's really cool about this that I have not seen on any other car is that it is all wheel drive, but you can actually change it. And I'll show you once we stop, but you can actually change it from a rear wheel biased, sorry, front wheel biased, all wheel drive, to a 50-50, to a rear wheel biased all wheel drive. So track driving, it has track mode, it has sport mode. I mean, you can totally customize your drive the way you want it. And of course, all of that is because it is rally inspired and it is part of the performance arm of Toyota, which is the GR, which stands for Gazoo Racing. And this is what it looks like in black. It looks pretty cute, don't you think? I mean, it's a five door hatchback, but it's really sporty looking. We have our GR badging on this side. And as you can see, this GR4 here along the side, that represents the customizable all wheel drive that I was talking about. And I think that's really cool. And I think it's cool that they put it into the car's look as well. And then of course, a really sporty little hatch rear end and we've got our GR Corolla badging. And one of the very first things I noticed when I picked this up is it has three exhaust pipes. And I just like, I've never seen that on another car. I don't know, maybe it exists somewhere, but I've never seen it. And I think it makes it look really unique, cute, fun, and sporty. And I never really would have thought of a Toyota Corolla hatchback as a hot hatch but this GR Corolla is a hot hatch and it's super hot to drive. Okay, we get a just a manual hatch uh, back lift and lots of space. I mean, it's exactly what you'd think for a hatchback. It's not huge. We have some little extra storage bin underneath here. I don't think there's a spare underneath there, but let's have a look. No, no spare under. Um, and then a 60-40 rear split as well. I also wanted to mention this is the base core. There is another um, trim above this, the circuit, and then the race focus that drops the back seats. It's a two-seater. The Marizo trim is the top, top trim. But at the base trim, this core is everything you'd want in your GR Corolla. Nothing really exciting back here, but I will say it's an adult-sized back seat. So I fit comfortably. I'm only five foot one and lots of room. We have cup holders in the center armrest. We have cup holders in the door, power windows, and of course, power locks, which is fantastic for a little hatch. And a little center hump, but it's not really that big. And then starting on your center console for the front, we have a 12 volt and a USB-C charger and a nice little grippy platform to put a few things. And I just found a lucky nickel in the back seat floor here just now. Unlike the GR Super, we have an actual manual e-brake in here. And I love the GR on the start stop button and the GR on the steering wheel and then a little GR on the startup. Six speed manual and our drive modes are right here. We can go into custom, sport, normal and eco. We do have automatic climate control, but it's just one zone. 
And then this button right here is how we control the uh, GR4, the, which is the all-wheel drive system, which I think is super cool. So the default starts at 6040, front wheel biased. And then if we turn this dial, we can switch it to 3070, which is a rear wheel biased. And then if we put it in track mode, it goes 250, 50. And as you can see, this is fully digital and it changes the look based on our drive mode. So let's go into normal. It looks like this. I think it goes the same, but then sport looks like that. Um, and then we get Toyota uh, eight inch multimedia here. This is the usual system. I love that it has wireless Apple CarPlay at this price point in a performance hot hatch. That's super cool. Really basic climate, as I mentioned, it's just one zone automatic climate. And we do have heated seats up here. And then I believe with the tech package, this little cubby here would be a uh, wireless charging uh, spot for your phone as well. And then two normal size cup holders here. Really basic interior. I mean, this is a nice leather and the seats are a nice soft cloth. Uh, but I believe you get leather going up into the sportier trims. But again, if you want a GR Corolla, this core base model is all you need. Okay, this GR Corolla was tested at some of Japan's leading circuits. It is built in the same plant as the Supra A80. It is really performancey, which I would have never guessed. I mean, I just, when you say Corolla, I don't think performance, but you put that GR in front of it and there you go. It's been a really fun week with this car. I think it is a super great starter performance car. I personally would choose to go up to the GR86. I absolutely adore the GR86, but this one's been really great too. And especially at this price point, like I say, this is the core, the base. There's no additional packages on this. This even gets Toyota Safety Sense 3.0, which is like all of their advanced safety driver assist features, including adaptive cruise control, which I think is great. This one is about 45,490 Canadian dollars and about 36,995 US dollars. So for that price point, you're getting a lot of fun, a little hot hatch, and it's really cute as well. I think, I mean, I, I, I'm guessing guys who are looking for a hot hatch aren't looking for cute, but I think it's a cute hot hatch. And I'd love to hear what you think. Leave me a question or a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you soon.